local news reporter Karen Stormoff. And today we will be interviewing world famous chef Dude Milfon. And he's asked us to blow his face out for our unknown reasons, but I don't want to. Dude Milfon? I asked you to blur my face because nobody's ever seen it before. Well, guess what? It's my local news channel. It's my news channel. I do what I want, whether you like it or not. Got it? Okay. okay. So, Melphon, what will we be making today? Today we'll be making my world-famous ghost pepper enchiladas with a peppered caviar on the side. That sounds absolutely disgusting. Let's make new chocolates. I, 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 I didn't bring the We'll go to commercial and get them while making mint chocolates. I, go to commercial! Hello everyone. <clears throat> Today, I present you with an interesting new invention. Now this isn't your normal commercial that tells you, oh, this invention is amazing or any of that. This invention does have its flaws, and I will admit that. But what it doesn't lack in, it makes up for in disobedient children. Now, this here is my emo daughter, who is the most disrespectful child on the planet. Now, I'm going to show you an example of me asking her to take the trash out without the collar and then with the collar. Sweetheart, will you take the trash out? Die. And that's her response without the collar. Now, with the collar, where did I put that remote? Ah, here we go. With the collar, I'm going to ask her the same question. And when she disobeys me, I click this simple button. Sweetheart, will you take the trash out tonight? Why aren't you dead? Now what do you take a trash out? I'd rather die. No, get back in camera. Come on, get back in camera. Come on. No, no, you're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're 21. Come on. back. <clears throat> so we just got back from the store and I have bought mats so then each of us can create the masterpiece I call my famous minty chocolates and my briefcase. So in order to make these minty chocolates we're going to be using three ingredients. Continue. One moment. We'll be using syrup, ah, sorry, so many ingredients, sugar, you have an like uncanny amount of ghost peppers in there, and hot chocolate powder. Now, this will come into play later. <clears throat> so, first, for the first part of the mint chocolates, you're going to want to take your hot chocolate mix, keep that near you. Take your syrup, right here. We already explained all the ingredients. I understand. What? There's only three ingredients. You need it, you don't need it. What do you, another list. What you want to do with the sugar is you want to take it and grab approximately two pinches of sugar. I'm going to open that up. And we're going to take some of the sugar and we are going to put two pinches. Shake that up a little bit. Smell it. If it 
If it smells chocolatey, then you have it right. It's hot chocolate. You added two pinches of sugar. It's not going to smell any different. It has a different smell, ma'am. I'm using a specific kind of hot chocolate. That's generic. You take your syrup and you open it. And depending on how much syrup you put into it is how much of the minty flavor. Now I'm using a specific type of syrup. The type that uh, has mint flavor in it. Ah, yes. You take that and you just kind of mix it around a little bit. Shake it up. I do not respect your phone a lot. This plastic. I don't My two-year-old could have done this. I don't respect your job, but you don't see me complaining about being on it. Now you take this, you put it into micro microwave first for two minutes. You cook it, and then you put it into freezer for approximately three hours. When you take it out, you mold it into the shapes you want, and you get the chocolates. Now I've prepared some before I came here. So we're going to set that over there and we are going to grab the some that I've already prepared. I've already molded these and this is what you'll get and if you look on inside there is a lot of mint in there. That's what I was talking about with the mint syrup. Depending on the amount you put into the chocolate paste <clears throat> it determines the amount of uh, mint you get in it and that is how you make my famous mint chocolates <clears throat> so delicious you get both the flavor but not the bad breath your craft is useless I watched you make these from a little package Really? Really? You want to claim these are yours? You are literally useless. You are a faker. Get off my show! It's a news channel. News channel, show, whatever. You're still on it and I want you off. I leave with dignity. You leave with nothing but disgrace! I hate my A show. I hate these people. Well, that's all we have for tonight's show. Tune in next time for more whatever this is. News Channel, Local 96, out. Goodbye.